Okay, so what I want to do today is talk about the Bofeng 888S Max and the Zastode A28 two-way UHF uh, radio. Um, first of all, I bought these uh, quite a long time ago. Well, this one I had given to me uh, from Zastone uh, to do a review on, which I've already done. So check back if you want to have a look at that one, see the, uh, see the further spec of this. Um, and the Bofeng, uh, I purchased a few of these recently. Uh, I had some events that needed uh, walkie-talkies. I uh, didn't quite have enough, even though I've got <laughs> quite a lot. Um, but I needed more. And you know what? It's so much cheaper just to buy these rather than rent them that I bought uh, six of these uh, to, to go with what we already had. Um, and the first thing was that I went onto eBay and I didn't look to see the full specification of these. Uh, I saw that there were both things, there were triple eights. I figured they'd be pretty much the same as the, uh, uh, the other both things they do and the, uh, the triple sevens, um, but they're not quite the same. The smaller, the lighter, they are thinner. Uh, and I much prefer these um, for two-way communications. These are really, really good, to be fair. Uh, £20 for two. But the only problem was that the battery life wasn't as good as I'd hoped for. Uh, if you compare them towards the other radios, you easily get a full day out of them, 12-plus uh, hours, uh, and that's including transmitting. Um, with these, we kind of got like eight hours with the combination of transmitting um, and receiving. Uh, and that kind of struck me as odd, and at first I thought maybe it was a fault. And it wasn't until I actually researched the specification and read the instructions that it does actually say um, it's about, about sort of eight-ish hours on average. So with that in mind, I thought, well, fair enough, can't fault that. Um, it does say that in the instructions and the spec, so I'm not, I've got no room for argument. However, it's very, very rare that I've ever needed to have a radio one for that length of time anyway. So, yeah, that's not really put me off too much. Um, this radio, the Zassone A28, this claims to be um, 10 watts in power for the output. Uh, and I've always queried whether that has been the case. And I have done some tests in the past, only to find out that the test meter I was using was, uh, was incorrect. Um, so the test meter I now use is what I use for my amateur radio. It's a lot more accurate, and I'll show you that shortly. So I wanted to do a test to find out exactly what am I getting and what am I pushing out here. So I've done a test on the Zastone A28 for power, and I've done a test for the power on this Bofeng 888S Max. Now, not only have I tested the power, but I've gone out and I've done a bit of a drive just to try and get um, a, a good sort of view on what sort of power range we're going to get out of them. And I was very pleasantly surprised with both of them. Um, I've done the test around a housing estate um, from uh, using both of these handhelds um, downstairs in the house in the conservatory and then going out in the car, talking to someone in the house and seeing how well they work. Um, in reality, you know, when they say you get a certain range, certain distance out of radios, it all depends on the surroundings, the atmospheric conditions, the heat, uh, the temperature outside, uh, what obstacle, obstacle, obstructions there are. All those sort of things make a huge difference. So, to get the results that I actually got, uh, and we're talking pretty much two miles line of sight from inside a house in a built-up area uh, to a car that's travelling around uh, in other built-up areas, uh, we've got about a two-mile range. Um, and it was clear to see that the Zastone was pushing out more power, and that was obvious, by the way, that in some areas I could um, only really hear what was being said on the Zastone. The Bofeng just couldn't quite make it. Uh, but that's not really surprising, like I say, this actually only gives out one and a half watts in power. This radio, the claims uh, 10, only gives out five watts. Um, but do you know what? For a five watt radio, and in fact for a one and a half watt radio, uh, I was still amazed at how far this would actually work uh, and transmit to the car with that kind of two mile distance with all the, uh, the obstacles in the way. I was really surprised. So have a look at this now, it's a quick, clip that I made earlier on. Um, some of the footage hasn't come through properly, unfortunately, so you're not going to see all the stops and all the tests that I did. But uh, here's just a couple of the examples of how well they worked. 
Okay, so the test I'm doing now then is just going to drive around for a little bit. There's just a couple of locations I want to go to and I want to talk from my car radio to the two radios, the Triple Eight and the A28. Um, it's not going to be specifically a range test, it's testing the radios under a certain condition to see how well they perform and which one's better. Um, the A28 is giving out about 5 watts and the Triple Eight is giving out about one and a half watts. So this is going to be a bit of a comparison just so you can see what the quality is like with a different audio. Okay, so I'm going to be using uh, one of my channels uh, on the radio. If I could just start this. Um, I've got Paul uh, on one of the radios as we speak. Let's just have a, a quick call. Okay, Paul, um, just do a quick test. Everything's been uh, loading clear, very clear indeed. Okay, can you first of all transmit on the triple eight for me, please? I am talking on the triple eight. Okay, could you now go to the A28? Yeah, no, can you go to the, on the A28? Okay, that's great, thank you. So the A28 is just making it a little bit better. I'm probably about a third of a mile away from the house at the moment. Okay, so let's go for a bit more of a drive. So like I say, it isn't about the distance. There's going to be obviously obstacles in the way in between uh, the two handhelds and my car radio. I'm probably giving out about 20 watts, I think, on this at the moment. But that's irrelevant. We just want to see what the... Uh, capabilities are we're going through uh, trees and houses i live in quite a hilly area it's a bit of an estate i live on it's very hilly so um you know let's just uh, see how well it does okay so i've just pulled over to the side of the road i'm in um like i say a very hilly area at the moment uh, and i'm now kind of um in a bit of a dip not sure this is going to work uh let's try it um mindful of where I've parked actually. Right, okay, so let's get this going. Let's try it out. Okay, Paul, are you picking me up? Yeah, uh, picking up very late Excellent. Can you just tell me which radio you're using at the moment? Yeah, currently using the uh, Bofong Triple Eight. Bofong Triple Eight, that's great. Okay, can you now just give me a shout using the A28, the black one, please? Yeah, that's great. Just go back to the triple eight again. Yeah, no use in the triple eight. Triple eight. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you. Okay, it sounded a little bit better on the A28. It's going to really, uh, but both a little bit uh, kind of wispy. But um, like I say, the location I'm in. Uh, I'm most surprised it worked as well as it did though, to be honest. Right, let's move on now to the next location. Except now I'm stuck in traffic. Shouldn't have come this way. Paul, do you copy? Yes, yes, uh, I'm copy. Uh, there is here on the triple eight. Excellent, stand by two seconds. I'm going to pull over and uh, do, do a film. You say you're on the AAA now? Talking on the uh, Okay, try the A28. Okay, now using the A28. That's great. Okay, stand by two seconds. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm just over, um, just over a mile and a half away. Again, I'm in a really built-up area. I've got loads of houses around me. I've literally travelled over just over a mile and a half. 
and as the crow flies for my location that's what I'm talking about sorry it's not driving it's literally distance away from uh, from the house so I'll have that car to go by let's try this right okay Paul are you there yes yes uh, go ahead okay I'm still picking you up now that's good what's uh, what radio are you using now please Excellent, okay, that's lovely. And can you now try the AAA for me? Okay, yes, Excellent, okay, thank you very much. Right, there you go. So, that signal was a lot weaker. It was still audible, I could still hear what was being said. Um, but you know what, for this distance, and I'm in the car, Paul's um, in a house um, with a lot of houses in the way, literally uh, just over a mile and a half between us as a crow flies. That is really good. Uh, a definite dis uh, difference in, um, in the quality there. Yeah, massive difference there, really. So that goes to show, so the triple eight, it claims not to be five watts i think on the radio it says it's just less than five watts but in reality you know people assume that to be about five watts don't they um so one and a half watts for the triple eight that's really good distance wise we've made but you can see how having a five watt radio so that, that's an extra sort of three and a half watts it makes all that difference um and that's that's quite a, a big difference when it was uh, you know listening in to where am I now? My thing left here. Oh fuck. Sorry. Sorry mate. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh there was a bloody crash then. Oh <coughs> Can you try the uh, the A twenty eight? Yeah, uh, you see me on the A28? Yeah, I'm struggling with um, the AAA at the moment. Excellent, okay. Do you know what? I'm <laughs> lost. I don't know where I am. Will you start to have to I'm going to have to. Looks a bit familiar. I think I'm where, uh, near where Debs lives. Because Debs lives in Fox. Fox something or other. So whilst I'm uh, just driving back um, back to the house, so you've seen there the quality. I'm pleased with that. That's made um, that's made a bit clear in my mind as to how well the radios perform under these conditions. Uh, just so you're aware that I'm using um, a Yaesu <coughs> in the car. It's the uh, the old faithful 7800 fuel van, giving out about 20 watts, I think. Um, and I'm using a hands-free kit on this. Uh, I've got away with the uh, the microphone. Uh, I still have it, I just don't have it plugged in. And it's uh, a really good car kit. It's cost me about £9 off eBay. The little uh, microphone just clips on by the visor. And there's a little push and talk button. But you just fasten wherever you want. Obviously fasten it onto the steering wheel or by the steering wheel is the best place. Um, it's really good, really pleased with it. It makes a big difference. So there you go. Right then. Almost home. Okay, so back in the shack. We have the blue Bofeng 888S Max. And we have the good old Zastone A28. I want to see exactly. I know I've told you what they are roughly. But let's have a look for ourselves. See what they are. So first of all, let's have a look at the Zastone for the power. Okay, so I've connected it to my uh, power meter up there and uh, let's transmit now let's see what we get okay so we looked at the bottom scale on the left hand side and it's one and a half watts okay let's now try the Zastone okay exactly the same setup power meter GoPro and let's transmit on the same frequency and look at that it's just slightly over five watts so there you go folks 
All right, so that was quite interesting, wasn't it? Um, and it's good to actually be able to um, see for yourself the difference in power that it can make. I thought it would have made quite a bit more difference. So the difference between one and a half watts and five watts, I thought the difference in quality would have been greater, uh, but it wasn't. So um, pleasantly surprised there. Um, so finally, like I say, it wasn't supposed to be a range test. So before you start putting messages on the uh, page talking about the range test, it's not a range test. It was a real life kind of um, comparison between two different types of radio. Um, so well, I, I found it quite interesting anyway. So anyway, there you go. So all in all, both very good radios. That's so better, but a lot more expensive. But for what these are worth and what you pay and the range, I was very impressed. They were very good. Right, so there you go. I hope that was of some interest to you. Um, leave some comments down below, any suggestions or anything you want to see or any questions that I've not answered during this video. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. See you soon.